I wanted to do a hack about social good, and most of my hacks at hackathons are about social good, but this wasn't to say that this hack doesn't have a sustainable business model because it does, but the point was about education and bringing awareness to something that people don't know about, which is sensory sensitivity. And while it is a mark on the autism scale, it's something that one in 20 children are born with. And it's perfect for Wemo automation because it's not necessarily a cure, but it's preventative. And if you can customize your home to be comfortable, then you're not gonna be sensitive to things like air, noise, light, and sound. It's about air quality control and making your home comfortable so that you can get stuff done. This is the Wemo switch in motion sensor. And this is pretty cool for us because we can program it to a light next to your bed. And instead of having the harsh alarm sound wah, 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 in the morning, which we all hate, and it's harsh, you can just have a light gradually turn on at, say, 7.30 in the morning. And then if you want to take a little snooze for 15 minutes, you can just wave your arm, and then it'll turn off and then turn back on. Pulling from this pack of 37 sensor modules, 35 of them are compatible with the Wemo. And this can work for anything Internet of Things, for the connected car or home, even wearables, anything IoT. And we were able to look at variables for motion, light, sound, air quality control, a number of things, and get creative with our ideas. We use the Wemo Maker Kit, and it works with any sensor that has a signal grounded positive. For example, this sharp dust sensor. See this hole in the middle here? It uses a laser that shines through this hole, and it's on the other side. And that can tell how much dust is in there because the dust blocks the laser. So it's pretty cool. I just found this Arduino compatible sensor and it's for temperature and humidity and I just bent the prongs up a little bit so that it fits in perfectly with the Belkin Wemo. See the micro USB? It's so easy. You can just plug it into anything that has 5 volts of power. You don't need 120 volts, okay? You can do this on the train, in your car, anything with a USB and power the so this is the Zen Sensory Simulator. Um, it's a tool that allows parents and teachers to see the world through the eyes of someone or a child that may have sensory sensitivity. And as you can see, if you rotate around the room, the lights are flick flickering and the TV, you get, ugh, I can't get the TV. <laughs> Um, and there's like the audio overload that someone may experience that we have, as normal people, become numb to. So uh, we worked with If This Then That as sort of our back end, uh, well, as part of our back end process, to uh, basically implement a slightly different version of it. So If This Then That is uh, beautiful in its simplicity, it's very useful for like what it does, but we needed it like something a little more involved, a little more complex, and so we sort of like built a, uh, a more usable, at least for our app, version of if this then that for like the home or classroom scenario, depending on where you are using this application. Um, so we basically set up a system where you would indicate what kind of trigger that you were looking for from which sensor. So you could say that trigger could be a combination of um, a time and a motion sensor or like a time and like a level of humidity and then you would have some sort of action follow that. And so our if this then that recipes were basically a series of um, monitoring the RSS, RSS feed that we were RSS feed that we were um, we were basically updating with like the status of various sensors. And then the other half of the if this then that recipes were basically um, watching from sensors themselves to update the RSS feed. So it was sort of like a, a cycle all around. And then what we built was like a front end for that that would allow you to um, set up like multiple triggers and eventually like create like your perfect scenario.